Now you have the opportunity to make your own TV leg -like video analysis using the Ones Football software. You can find the link in the description below. One of the most appealing sites last year in the EPL were the Wolves. Wolves under Santo has been prolific. They even secured a European spot, which is quite an achievement. Santo is also one of the managers who used the back three formation precisely. He actually sets up Wolves in a 3-4-3 or a 3-5-2 depending on the opposition tactics through the middle. The front three of Wolves in Jimenez, Jota and Traore were deadly as they combined to produce some exquisite chances and goals. Jimenez is an intelligent forward. He scores with ease alone on top, even dropping down to link up the play and lets the wide forwards come inside. Traore's pace and strength down the right kept defenders alert. While on the left, Jota was a contrast to Traore. He was more of an inside forward, often combining with Johnny Otto, pulling the fullbacks to the side and utilize the space either for his own or create for Jimenez. Jota's addition will certainly boost the forward line at the mercy side. This may reduce the rhythm of the Wolves, but they do have replacements in Pietro Neto. He has shown his capability when given chances last year, contributing with 3 goals and 3 assists and started this year very positively. Other options could be Podens, who has already booked 2 assists in their first 2 games. The camaraderie and dynamism of the attack is well balanced with a very composed midfield. Their mid comprises of a two-man block and two wing-backs. Neves and Mucino make up one of the sweetest partnership in first-class football. They move in offense and defense alternatively, with Neves being more defensive while Mucino committing towards the offense. Neves has an eagle's vision and is also smart during set pieces. The other two midfield were the industrial sidebacks Johnny and Doherty. Doherty is a great offensive sideback. He fares quite well with other right backs in the league. No doubt why Moreno scooped him up this summer. It was Doherty's underlaps combining with the pace of Traore who dictated the passes from the right. On the left, Johnny is equally adept to the system and showed similar figures and more so defensively. He gave the freedom to Jota by attracting a defender and also as a first line of press when the position was lost, by positioning himself to create a triangle with his teammates. In a 3-4-3, the sidebacks are tasked to come down and assist the defense, but quick transition from opposition may catch the high sidebacks and utilize the vacant space on the counter, as we see in Sterling's second goal for City. Nuno also uses an extra midfield in Dendonker when playing a 3-5-2. Dendonker holds the line with Neves, while Mutino is tasked to either be the 10 just behind the two forwards or form a man-to-man -man cover line when the opponents are offensive. At the back, Wolves deploy three centre-backs who hold a high line and often distributes the ball from the back to the forwards. The defence is ideally dominant, averaging more than three ideal duels won per match. After the departure of Doherty, Wolves played Traore at a withdrawal position. With Semido joining from Barcelona, they might regain some rhythm. As we all know that Nuno is a very astute recruiter. His previous additions and faith on Portuguese talents have been rewarding and both Semido and Doherty have similar profile. But Doherty has more goal contribution, which Semido needs to better. Just like previous seasons, Wolves will be keeping their consistent performance. But the question is, can they get a European spot this year? 
there are more competition and with new addition to all the squads, they look quite compact in their own form. Please don't forget to comment your opinions below. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends and the gracious subscribe will really motivate us. Thank you for watching.